Hey everyone, this is Kurt Buell coming at you again with another demo video. Today I'm going to be going over Key Suite Electric. So this is going to include all of the electric pianos, Wurlitzers, stuff like that. So up here on the screen, I've got uh, one of my favorites and I'm going to just play it right out of the box. I may adjust some of the velocity curve that you see right over here, but we're going to dive in. In a previous video, I did Key Suite Acoustic and uh, walked us through some of the functions of the UVI player here that you see. So uh, I kind of explained some of that. I may talk about it briefly in this video, but here I just want to play this right out the box for you. All right. Alright, so just a real quick thing there. Um, I didn't mess with the velocity curve, but right here, based on you know how heavy your keyboard is, and your keys rather, um, I can adjust that there. So if I have it up here, I barely have to tap it. Down here, if I move it, I'd really have to hit hard. Um, I want to show you what I like to do with these electric pianos, though. Is I like to go over here to effects. Alright, and I like to switch this on tremolo and then stereo mode and what that's going to do is kind of like open this sound up so check this out now it really sounds like a Rhodes all right this is one of my favorites from the collection here i'm going to actually just play through this real quick i'm going to mute my mic so you can uh so you can really hear everything without all my keys clicking here all right and then i'm going to come back to you i just want to play through this real quick So right there at the end, you can hear how it's kind of doing that stereo, um, I forget the word that I'm looking for, but it's going back and forth, that, uh, that little effect that you hear. And that's because, uh, I guess you'd call it the tremolo here, that's because I turned both of these on. But without it, I mean, it still sounds good, but that's how you would get that sound that you're used to is by uh, clicking those. So this is one of my favorites. Let me play another one of my favorites for you. I really love these three right here. And for instance, that first one there was, um, let's see, EPNO MK1975. Down here, uh, they give you some some information. And this was one of the Mark Ones. All right, real warm, like they say on there, signature sound. All right, you can read up on those. And I've got different um, like variations of that that I can do here. For instance. Let me do that real quick, the chorus one. And I'm going to turn those back on because I really like the sound of that. Over here in effects, you've got those different, for instance, this was preloaded and I just added this in here. But in effects, you've got the different things here. Um, this is Convolver Mix right here. If I power these on, I can get different, uh, it'll present itself differently. Like that, I don't know if you could tell the difference. Here's another one. Like with the reverbs and stuff. All right, but you can play with that. Over here, this is turned on because I did the preset. This is um, chorus right here. And I could have done this from the basic preset that um, the name of it would have been basic dry. This one's just chorus. So it's, it's a preset, you know. They did all the work for me here. So again, I'm here in the effects. Let me just play through this real quick. 
forth from left to right which i really love that's um that's like the quintessential roads you know uh like fender roads and mark ones and different things quintessential sound that you would expect from that all right so let's move on let's do uh, let's just go from the top and play through some of these all right i'm gonna do the basic dry um and like i said in my last video basic dry really has nothing to do with how it's actually going to sound. It really just means that this is the basic preset, like no chorus, no phaser, um, and like with minimal reverb. All right, so just keep that in mind. Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're good here. Why don't I just play through some with the mic muted? Here we go. back and talk to y'all while I'm doing this. Um, I'm just playing through some of these. We did, we've done this one already. Let's do the 78. All right. Now I'm not like a Rhodes expert, electric piano expert, so I may get some of the terms wrong. So if I do, I apologize. I know you can hear those keys clicking. Let's, uh, I, I, I'm going to add this back. Here we go. briefly play through some of these because we've got several other sections to get to I want to keep doing this let's see what this does wah let me turn my mic off Thank you. 
what's nice is I just noticed the pedal noise there. So you've got all these really cool um, features and um, details that they included. Let's keep going real quick here. I might be more time effective if I may not play through all of them. You can kind of hear underneath though that mechanical sound. On some of these, you're going to have, for instance, the DI box happening right there, or maybe that's DI mic, I'm not sure. But, and then, like, all these different types of micings and stuff. So, I mean, they went to great lengths to give you the details of these different micing techniques and stuff. Um, with this one, I didn't even turn that on. Um, and that adds just another dimension. Let me play one more thing here. This is just a few of them. In fact, I'm going to move on just because I have so many more things to cover here. Let's look at these uh, Wurlitzers. All right. Right out the box. And they've got, a, got them separated into different categories. For instance, this, is, uh, this refers, to, or it refers to it as reeds. Here it was tines. But they give you more information about these here. Um, let me click back on this, and then let's uh, play around with the effects. All right, got to have that. Let me play through this without the keys clicking here. Having fun over here, so just showing you what's possible here. Let's do uh, let's do one of these presets. All right. Oh my goodness. Some of these I have not actually played through before, like some of the presets and stuff. Here, let's do this. Thank you. 
so much cool stuff you can do here. Let's do some more. I'm really enjoying these. Ah, yes. Here we go. Different miking techniques. Let's see here what's going on. Yep. Let's see. I don't know if you saw how the dynamic changed a little bit. To this. Let's leave that mic setting on. Go to the effects. Turn this stuff on here. And I'm going to mute my mic. And then I'm going to turn the wah on in a second. Here we go. These are some of the uh, Wurlitzers and stuff. Let's do the 200. Ah, I love it. Let's do a different key. We've done C, we've done F, I think. G, D, let's do A flat. Maybe I can think of something cool to play. Here we go. Super cool. That might be one of my favorites. All right. So again, I'm just giving you a taste of what we can do here. Now, these are going to be fun. I'm going to try and play through these pretty quick here. Um, let's do it. And it tells you all about them, you know. Oh, my word. I don't even know if I played this one before, but this is taking me somewhere. Now that was cool. I flipped on this acoustic. Flipped it off. Oh, I got an idea after I do this. I'm just playing. 
playing with these different mic techniques and things here. I have an idea. I want to play something for you. crazy because once I went to the high end you I mean you hear like this ambiance you know um I should have saved that one for the digital video that I'm gonna do um but that was by Journey actually I think they played in the key of B but I was already there but this is a really cool let's see previously unsampled upright electric Fully mixable DI and microphone signals. I'm telling you, they've thought of everything. Let's do this one here. These electric pianos are just on another level. Um, and they give you so many different varieties. Let's see. Different micings there. cool thing is they just give you so many pianos you know this is just one third of key suite um the digital electric and acoustic i love how they give you these different mics The cool thing is they combine those two different uh, things here. I mean, they got the BK mic and then this, the DI. Again, I'm not sure if it's DI box or if it's a certain type of mic. But you combine it and you just get this huge body underneath. All right, let's keep going. Real quick, just, just real quick. Let's see what happens if we add stereo to this. Go to a new key. Let's see here. All right. And again, in the previous video, I've kind of gone through the UVI workstation itself, what they give you here in these, um, with these effects and stuff. I'm loving these. And they really go to great detail to like give you a visual representation of what this would be like, you know, with these pictures and stuff. Keep 
piano, 700M. I'm going to pick some new keys here. Let's do like B. So it's real crazy everything that's going on. I mean, they've just given you so many options here. So let me move on to clavinets, and I'm going to play through these real fun and funky real quick. Here we go. Thank you. 
All right, I'm like halfway through these clavinets, and I'm I'm plugging in this wah. So, like, what would a clavinet be without some wah? So, I mean, you can adjust the different settings here. So I'm telling you, they really have thought of everything. A couple more here, and then we're going to try and do the rest of these. Ah, I love this already. Ah, right, let's change keys. All right, I'm going to play around real quick. Here we go. you what's cool is this kind of reminds me of an electric guitar or one that is sampled or I'm sorry not an electric guitar like an acoustic guitar maybe some kind of electric guitar all right let's do a couple things has that certain sound like that like funky sound what's cool is you can adjust the wah telling you they thought of everything all right let's move on electroacoustic let's play through these just real quick I'm just going to play through the defaults of these just to give you an, uh, an idea of what's going on. You can read all about them here in this uh, wonderfully made, beautiful UVI workstation. They tell you everything you need to know. Clavisette. Love it. Here, I'm just going to play through real quick without the mic on. Here we go.
that's all of them in the uh, electroacoustic. Let's play through these analog keys. Oh my word. I mean, like, there's just so many of them, and it's incredible because they have went to the incredible lengths to give you the best of what they've got. All right, I'm going to play through these pretty quick. Here we go. One thing that I need to mention here is it appears that even within these categories, it's not just um, like, for instance, we started out here on the grand piano setting, but it looks as though, I mean, like each of these 
uh, is distinct. You know, it's distinct from the first, like it's not necessarily um, like a preset. Maybe it is, but... Sorry, there we go. It just seems like some of these are vastly different than the first one in the list. So for at least these, it might be worth to even dive in a little bit deeper um, to these. Um, let me do like maybe one more, like these different tones and stuff. I was trying to play... Uh, That's what that sounded like to me. All right, one more category. Now this looks like it's gonna be like the, the what I mean by preset is like you've got your basic sound, you know, and then you move into like some edits of that sound. So that's what I meant by like presets. I don't want to confuse you. And then down here, and and this happened in another one of these, and actually in several of these, but it really was obvious there in the other bass sounding one. Like they'll give you the natural range that's lit up here like the actual colors of a piano and then you've got these grayed out keys and you can still play in them but these are like the the natural ranges because right now i'm still in the natural range or what appears to be the natural range and on a couple of those other ones i was playing with the mod wheel here you can kind of see it on the left of the screen i'm moving it in real time got the uh, pitch bend you know which is cool all right let's play through these real quick I don't know a ton about them but I could sure play them for you mod wheel Let's do the rest of these just real quick here. I'm going to turn my mic off. All right. Still playing with this. I love that. Here, I'm going to turn my mic off one more time. All 
All right, so that's basically all of them for certain all of these different categories here. Um, but again, like as you move down the list, you have some more or you have sounds that are more obscure than just like your basic Mark 1s and the, the different, you know, Mark 2, II, Mark 5, Mark 7, all that. And then your Wurlitzers, like your 140B, um, the 200, and all these different ones, you know. So anyway, this is one of the installments of Key Suite. Um, this is Key Suite Electric, and you've got some information right here. 63 instruments, including electric pianos, tines, reeds, clasps, analogs, and more. Deep tone shaping tools and prograde effects, as we have seen. So there's a ton of effects going on in that FX section. So, again, this is a Key Suite Electric. Um, it's part of the trifecta of the Key Suite Bundle. So the Key Suite Bundle is um, the collection of Key Suite Acoustic, Key Suite Electric, and Key Suite Digital. I've covered um, Key Suite Acoustic in a previous video, and we'll do a full playthrough of the Key Suite Digital. Um, but this is one of the installments of that. If you buy all three together, you get the Austrian Grand, which comes exclusively with the Key Suite Bundle. You can also get these different um, packages together separately. You can get acoustic, electric, digital, any ones you want. Um, you can get those separately. But I would encourage anybody that's trying to get into having a new collection of keyboards and stuff, go ahead and just go ahead, like just get the entire Key Suite Bundle. I'm telling you, it's worth it. And uh, it's worth it just to have the Austrian Grand, you know. But, again, this is just a playthrough of Key Suite Electric. And I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, definitely look into getting this amazing product. You can check it out at uvi.net.